I'm over here taking a picture. I don't know if he thought I was from the favela or Brazilian, but your boy almost had a heart attack. And this is a beautiful, beautiful view. Now, I would say this is probably the best beach. No, I wanna know. Where'd he go? Yeah, remember the vendor, right? We're gonna turn the tables and see how he like people intruding on his face. Fish, fish. Fish, ah, okay, a whole spray. The first time I've actually been able to see Ipanema, Cabana from the other side. Actually, where the bathroom was at, and they pointed me to this little river. <laughs> All right, look, guys, what's up? It's your boy, yo, checking. As you can see behind me, I'm in Vigigal, Favela, and I'm headed to this little beach, man. It's like a hidden beach. A lot of people don't go to it. Um, it's called Praia do Vigigal, the, the beach of uh, Vigigal, and it's right along this way. As you know, I can't record much over here, but stay tuned. I'm going to show you this little beach. Let's get it. I just seen a, <laughs> I'm over here, as you're gonna see, this is probably gonna be the thumbnail. I just seen like a European, cause I think a lot of European uh, tourists like to stay in the, in this favela, Vigigal. And I'm over here taking a picture. I don't know if he thought I was from the favela or Brazilian, but boy, boy almost had a heart attack. It was pretty funny. You can kind of see it. That beach is where we headed to, check it out. Now, this is a nice little beach, kind of hidden. Even a driver wasn't sure how to like get inside of this beach. Um, so that's why I showed you guys. You wanna put in the plaza or plaza, the old Vigigal. And after you put that in, you're gonna just take that path. Like you should have seen the cop car. You wanna take that exact path of where I walked at. It's a little breezy today, but I have a rule, if it's not raining, I'm outside. And this is a beautiful, beautiful view. <laughs> I, wanna get a, I just wanna get a video from Mike. Now I would say this is probably the best beach to come to. If you wanna meet locals, you want more of a local experience, this is kind of the beach I'm sure everybody from the favela comes to. So, it's a nice little way to get, make local friends and see something different. You see it's a small beach, but it's a nice beach. Me, I'm gonna try to get something to drink and hang out here for a little while and enjoy the day. Oh, I'm moving super slow. Let me hurry up. <laughs> Alright, I'll be back. Alright guys, so just so you see, this is the path we came down to come to Praia do Vigiga. I'm going to walk this beach real quick so you guys can see it real quick. And then we're going to get into it. So beautiful beach, beautiful water. My first time here. I've been in Vigigal mucho tiempo. My man right here is a super cool dude. You guys wanna come here, check out Vigigal. Really ain't no, there's no losing here. So we're gonna walk this beach a little bit. I just want you guys to see it. So you guys can see the experience. So it's a nice small beach, rocky. Like I said, it's super organic. You're not gonna see that many vendors here. You're not gonna get that, that vibe you get from um, Ipanema, Coca Cabana, with a bunch of people coming to try to sell you things. Everything here is just, it's more organic. Like you said, we got my man right here. You got um, basically two places you could kind of sit and chill. There they sell more like caparillas, there they sell cerveza, food, all that stuff. Just gonna keep walking. I wanna show you guys some of the art. Super local experience over here. I wanna show you guys some more of the art. I'm a person that really likes to take in a scene and see all these images, so. Here we got Salvi. Salvi, I think it's more uh, Portuguese. Salvi Vigigal. Salvi Vigigal. 
Beautiful, beautiful beach, guys. Beautiful. And there, right there, you can see across the river is uh, Ipanema. Small artwork over here. A little couple doing a thingy thing over there. I ain't going, you know what I'm saying? I don't like to invade people's privacy. Got a nice situation over there. I want to be like him. I ain't about to be on her body and all that. Get people their privacy, you know what I'm saying? A picture of the favela. And I'm not going to walk over there, but you can kind of see the artwork over there. Over there. Up top is a restaurant. All right, guys. So look. I'm cooling, I'm booling. Y'all know how I do. I play a little different when I'm on vacation, vacation. Um, so yeah, guys, like I said, this beach, honestly, I'm, I'm liking the vibe. I'm liking the vibe. You can see, guys, it's a it's a cloudy day, so I didn't have many, many expectations, but I'm just out here. I'm booling how I bull, man. Uh, you see, I got my capa in here. So just some, some tips and tricks that you always want to use, especially when it's on a beach that you don't know. Uh, common etiquette in South America, I mean, this is obvious, but always keep your stuff close to you. No, I wanna know. Where do you go? U.S. See, down to you. Okay, darling, darling. So, yeah. So, like I said, uh, I spoke a little Portuguese in the beginning, and this is just how things happen. So this is, I mean, my Portuguese is, is crap, obviously. But what you want to keep in mind is everyone is listening to you. Everyone's trying to get a feel of you. That's the, the vendors, they're trying to get a feel of where you're from, how much you know, if you've been here, this, I got some, this, I'm for me, okay. My name, my name, my name is Fredji. 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 Because he came for me. Camarone is very rich. Okay. So, he got this. Camarone, tava frita. Very rich. Okay. And you are here all the time? All the time. All the time. Okay. Here every day. Okay. That's it. Okay. The camarão? Camarão? Yeah. Okay. No, 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 no. No queo. No queo. Mas, uma pergunta, amigo, quanto custa, camarão? Quanto custa? Quanto é? Esse? Sim. É, sem, sem. Sem, sem? Esse é sem, sem. Ah, ok, sem. Sem. Ok. Com Ok, agora não. Com, pa, com papa frita. Ah, ok, os dois, ok. Ok. Agora não. Depois. Não quero. Tá aí. So. He was just showing me his little menu. I don't know why he left it here, but... Oh, look at this rock wallet. He got a, a rock wallet on the beach. But yeah, guys, if you want some food, this is 100 which is like $20. It's a little expensive for my taste, but... Uh, I'm sure I can talk him down if I want to. I'm just not that hungry. But then he also got uh, cerveza and capahinas and all that. As you can see, there's no, um, there's no prices on this thing. And they got an English version, too, if you want to check this out. Check back off to keep the beach clean. Alright, that's cool, man. We gotta come get stuff, though. But yeah, um, alright, so I kinda got distracted in my bag, guys. Um, so yeah, like I said, they listening to your voice, they listening to your Portuguese, they wanna know, you know, how much you know if it's your first time here. No question that you are ever asked in another country, well, I don't wanna say every country, but most likely from a vendor is a super honest question. Most of the time, they're, they're, they're vetting questions. Oh, how long you been here? Seems super, super uh, innocent, but it's not. It's they want to see how much you know. They want to see, you know, what what uh, I don't want to call them scams, but what uh, tourist traps or tourist situations that you've been into. So just keep that in mind, guys. Um, I'm trying to get any other questions. Where you staying? They want to know what type of budget you got. You know, for example, if you're in LA and somebody asks you where you staying and you say Beverly Hills, oh, well, they know. Uh, so all of this stuff is important to know, guys. Um, so yeah, anyway. Last thing before I cut it off and get into this Caparilla is guys, you want to make sure you, most most countries in South America, I can tell you off grip for Colombia, DR, Brazil, the major hitters that people like to go to in Latin America. Uh, I'm trying to think many other countries does this, but most of all of them, you'll be paying for an uh, umbrella, a table, and a chair. So you may walk up innocently and sit down thinking this is included if you're purchasing something, but it's not. So when he came back, I ordered the Caparilla. 
when he came back I, I made sure to ask for the price so this was 20 this was 20 yeah i know guys i'm getting gypped um but just so you guys know because a lot of people who live in the countries and they see youtube videos especially if we're like a travel um a travel traveler sounds crazy if you're like an experienced traveler uh it's highly likely you already know you're getting scammed it just depends if you're if you're willing to put up with the, the scrap or not like if you're willing to dish out that energy to fight for the better price and a lot of times i'm definitely not sometimes i get i have to get on that because i just don't like how something was done like if the politics is wrong about it then i'm gonna definitely you know i'm gonna get on that i'm gonna get on that with you but for the most part i i, I accept what i'm giving man i try to just play it smart amigo see amigo here you go um and that's it man so like i said it's a 2020 Yo, get a nice little dance. <laughs> Yo. There you go. <laughs> 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 Amigo, você é Gianji. Você é Gianji. Vigigal. Vigigal. Ah, ok. Super. Vigigal. Foi aí. Morro. Morro. Ok, ok. Hey, there you go. Oh, you go. Ah, see. <laughs> Yo, so y'all remember? Y'all remember the vendor, right? We gonna we gonna turn the table and see how he like people intruding on his space. Let's do it. We gonna see what he in. Dude was all in my face with this food. Talk about uh, camera, camera. We gonna see what homie eating, bro. A boa. It's a fish. A horse. Ah, good. Ah, boa. Now I got it now, but boa. It's a frango. Fish, fish. Fish. Ah, okay. A horse. Frango. Ah. Agora não. Okay. Ah, okay. yeah, bro, all in my face. <laughs> bro, all in my face. Try to sell food, bro. How you like when I come up to you, bro? <laughs> when you eating? Alright, yeah. So, before I head out of here, I just, I just want you guys to know, bro. I asked you where the bathroom was at, and they pointed me to this little river. <laughs> now, I want you to know, guys. I mean, I had no problem. I used the bathroom. It, it is what it is. But I want you to know, like. For me, like this is just more natural, just more authentic, you know what I'm saying? Use the bathroom, handle your business and go ahead, bro. You know what I'm saying? So Alright guys, look, so we about to head out. I hope you guys enjoyed this little um this little beach favela tour. This is Praia do Bijigal. I've had a great time here. Yeah, I'm definitely coming back. I highly, highly, highly recommend you come to Praia do Bijigal. It's a super nice beach. I mean, amazing. The water is amazing. The water is like an aqua blue, greenish color, bro. But it's a beautiful. Like I said, you guys already know it's, it's a great day. Um, this this view is super interesting. This is like the first time I've actually been able to see like Ipanema, Copacabana from the other side of it. Like I said, it's a it's an extra extra local experience. You're not gonna see too many lo uh, tourists here. Most of it is just straight locals. Um, and that's it, man. I'm going to leave it here, man. You know you know who it is. 
It's your boy El Cheque, dude on YouTube, not a YouTuber, you know how we rocking. Uh, everything lit, everything cool, bro. Look, come check out Praia do Vigiga. It's a cool place, it's a super lit place to come. What's up, guys? If you like the shirt you see me wearing in this video or any of my other videos, check out the description box below to get yours.